Hi there, I'm Geraldine and I'm out at the Clyde River in late winter in New Glasgow, Prince Edward Island. And today we have a little bit of an overcast day, but it's a nice warm two degrees, so we're good to go. The scene behind me here, uh, lots of white and gray, but we'll see what we can make of it. Uh, S curve of the river out there and I'm going to bring it up closer to me and just put a few lines so I know where to paint and then we'll both begin. Hi there, we're back in the studio. Yesterday afternoon, late afternoon, we went out to, to do a little plein air painting and it was cloudy and uh, somewhat difficult to see different tones and colors out there. But the sun came out at the very end and that helped refine the picture. So I would say, uh, looking back on the experience, uh, if you're painting snow, it's very helpful to have a toned canvas. I had a white uh, backboard and it was very difficult to paint snow on white. So if you tone your canvas gray or orange or any color you like, it'll be easier to find the shapes. Um, I would say also that 
in the shorter time you're allowed painting outside before you freeze. Um, the shapes are the most important. The detail is what we love, but the shapes are the most important. So the shape of the sky, the um, S-curve of the river, the shape of the foreground, the trees on this side, and then the trees on this side. Now, what is my center of interest? I would say that the eye leads you in on this S and uh, we pass the dark open water to this lighter area, which is again reflected up here in the sky. When the sun came out, I noticed that this side was quite dark and pretty much the same value. And this side, uh, we could add some warms and oranges and reds just to give a contrast to the two sides. Um, also the foreground, we added some of the cerulean, the sky color here to give a different kind of snow. And then I would say the texture, the thickness of the white is what also gives contrast and um, your eye goes to those thicker applications of paint. So all in all, I think uh, when you're plein air painting, you uh, really take notice of what's around you and maybe you can't paint it fast enough, but the whole experience of being outside, seeing the birds, being in the fresh air, seeing the light on the snow is what helps you grow as a painter. So I hope that uh, you'll get a chance to go outside and if not, take some pictures and bring them back in the studio and let's paint winter. And I'd like to say bye for now from White Gables at Hope River in Prince Edward Island.